What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another video cranking these things out left and right. Got a few announcements that I want to share with everybody. Uh, has been a little bit since we've done the last clan update video and there has been a lot of recent developments not only within our clan and a couple announcements but within the Forge by the Bay Alliance itself. Uh, Starting off, the first thing I want to announce is Forge from Steel has just sistered uh, with an up-and-coming clan currently in the NDL. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out right here. Uh, the clan is called Wrath of War. Uh, we have had a relationship with a few of these guys. Uh, I'd say for the past maybe six, uh, maybe nine months uh, when we actually warred them in From Molten Lava. And since then, we've kind of kept this relationship. And we decided to sister with them again, up and coming. They are part of the No Dip League in the, what would I guess it'd be called the Amateur Division or Amateur League. And they are four and one. So they're definitely on pace, on track right now, and up and coming in the war community. A lot of good players. They have a great leadership team, very easy to work with. And the future is definitely looking bright uh, for our brothers and sisters over in Wrath of War. Also not to mention, we have Clintano Bay. Uh, I'll have a Psycho's link in the description. You guys can check that out. He just released a video that Clintano Bay has also sistered with Pandas of War, uh, where Coward the Viking is, a up and coming streamer, uh, the leader of that clan. So the Forge by the Bay Alliance constantly growing and definitely want to get those announcements out to everybody that is following the clan and curious about what's going on. Uh, we did just wrap up a semi midweekish uh, 50 v 50 similar to the one that we had against Emphatic Elite and the One Hive 2.0 family last weekend. I'll also link that um, where we re recap that war. Uh, this one the, the clan is grandma's army and but basically it was a mixture of grandma's army uh heavy hitters as well as buy forever for those of you that don't know grandma's army is in the buy forever family and same thing this was also a 12 yeah a 12 38 breakdown no town hall nines just straight heavy hitter action and got a couple replays to show you guys as I'll just be talking in the background. Again, they did take the victory 116 to 116. What is going on here? Uh, winning by just over 1% uh, was a very, very good war. Again, no Town Hall 9 war, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, GG to Grandma's Army and the Buy Forever family taking the victory from us on this one. And again, this was Forge from Steel and Clintano Bay coming together for this heavy hitter war. And there's also a couple members from uh, from Molten Lava that also participated in this war. Uh, did have some uh, pretty nice attacks uh, that I wanted to show you guys. I uh, won't show any. We'll go ahead and go down here at the bottom before I get. This was a really nice hit from Scarface. Uh, this is the bottom town uh, town hall ten, but a decent town hall ten nevertheless. Uh, doing it with Queen Walk Miners as we had let this play in the background. Whew, almost out of breath there. Okay, so for those of you that do not know, if you guys miss the, I guess we can call it a Supercell live stream or their version of, of, of uh, what a live stream is for the big championship war that went down over the weekend between Dark Looters and War and Glory. Uh, point I'm getting at is they announced all of the clans that are going to be in all the different CWL leagues, Rising, uh, or light rising premiere and invite so one announcement i do want to give a big shout out to from uh, from molten lava as they were accepted into cwl premiere which is absolutely huge again for those of you that missed it they did make it to the finals in the u.s cup the u.s championship cup and they also made it to the finals in the MLCW, the Grand Warden Division. Unfortunately, they did lose both of both of those wars. But I mean, come on, regardless, they made it two different leagues, making it to the finals, um, taking, down clan, taking down clans left and right. 
and made it to the finals. Did not win either one of those. They have definitely staked their claim that they are now in it, that they are in it to win it. And because of all their hard work, all their dedication, all the planning, and just showing that they can stand on their own as a clan, uh, also a part of the Forge by the Bay Alliance, they have now been accepted into CWO Premier again. Congratulations to everybody in From Molten Lava. It's amazing to see how much this clan has truly grown in such a short amount of time. Uh, cannot express it enough. And congratulations to everybody, the leadership, um, all the elders, the war generals, all the members, the base builders that they have over there. And I think it's just really, really cool uh, to see a clan grow uh, in, in such a short amount of time. So again, congratulations to them. Now, the big announcement that I wanted to share with everybody, again, for those of you that missed um, the announcement over the weekend in the so-called Supercell live stream, Forge From Steel has been accepted into CWO Invite, which is absolutely insane. Again, guys, January 2017 is when we made this clan. Um, can't say that enough, as I've said in a few of the other uh, clan update uh, videos that I've done and to go from Premier uh, where we did finish the season at 9 and 2 and however we were eliminated first round in the playoffs uh, we were eliminated first round in the playoffs but it truly shows that hard work does pay off as I'm talking when, when there's absolutely nothing going on here. I will go ahead and watch Codox's hit here, a.k.a. Cotton Eye Joe, a.k.a. Mark, uh, doing it with the Lalo. Uh, we made it into Invite. The hard work, the dedication, the leadership team here, um, the time that we spend not only in-game but out of the game. Um, you know, a lot of people, again, a lot of people saying, that Forge from Steel isn't gonna go anywhere. And we pretty much proved everybody wrong. I also think it's funny that, and I mean, they're just trolls. I mean, everybody knows that, but I think it's funny once it was announced, you know, people were saying they thought, they think it's interesting how a feeder, meaning Forge from Steel, made it into invite, which I think is funny. I mean, cause that's news to me, especially coming from a clan, uh, helping create the clan, being the YouTuber. I mean, to learn something like, I mean, I didn't even know that. So if we are the feeder uh, to a clan, uh, let me know which clan that is. I would like to know what clan uh, Forge from Steel is feeding, as a lot of people are saying. Again, I think it, I just think it's really, really funny uh, you know, to hear people and uh, just the nonsense that that people say. Um, as a lot, and, you know, as as a lot of people say, haters are gonna hate, which is what we clearly see. Which is fine. Maybe they're upset that their clan uh, didn't make it an in invite. I don't really know. Not trying to take shots, just calling it like I see it, as I always do. Uh, but I think it's really, really cool that we were able to get accepted into invite. Remember, uh, there's only 24 clans. Not exactly sure uh, the reason of the reduction. Maybe it's because they had so many clans dropping out uh, between season one and season two. I mean, double digits if you combine the two seasons of clans that have dropped out, whether they were banned or dropped. We're basically left in lieu of getting kicked, those kinds of things. But uh, there is only 24 clans that were selected to be in what would Vinny would say the top league, um, the most prestigious league that the game has to offer, that being CWO Invite and Forge from Steel making it, guys. In that uh, upper echelon of the war scene, I think it's absolutely amazing. And we have a great group of guys here, again, from leadership, from the base builders, the war generals, the members, the elders. And we're really excited uh, for the future. Again, we don't know what exactly. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this fresh hit from Hulk uh, on this one. Just a beautiful attack right here. Um, we don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I mean, what the record's gonna be. We don't know who we're gonna be facing yet. The schedules have not been released. But regardless, definitely um, a lot of people anxious. A lot of people do have anxiety, just kind of waiting uh, patiently to see what the schedule is gonna look like and to see how we're gonna perform. 
I mean, it's definitely going to be the biggest challenge that we've ever had um, as a clan, uh, you know, as far as, you know, just doing arranged wars, um, participating in CWL Premier, uh, being accepted into that, our first go around. And going from that to invite will be very, very interesting. And we're definitely optimistic for the future. Win or lose, we are definitely going to have a lot of fun and we're going to give it our all. We're not, we're not just going to, you know, lay down and take it. Uh, definitely, we will fight tooth and nail, uh, whether that's win or lose. Um, definitely going to give it our best and try to make not only ourselves proud, but make all of you guys proud as well. I will be definitely be doing all of the recaps as well to all of those wars. And I also was another announcement. I was also invited to come back to be the official CWL premiere uh, YouTuber, which I'll definitely be doing that. I, I did accept um, the offer that was given to me and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the little bit of coverage that I did about three quarters of the way into the season. Um, so that's also something that my, not only myself, but I hope you guys will look forward to uh, checking out that coverage. So again, just all kinds of stuff going on. I, again, it has been a while since I've done one of these videos. And I mean, all, all, basically everything I just told you guys has basically landed on our plate, I'd say within the last maybe four to five days when you're watching this video. Within the last four or five days, everything I just mentioned has just uh, been announced and I finally had time to make the video and get it out to you guys. So, um, I mean, definitely wish us luck. Wish uh, uh, From Molten Lava the best of luck in their premiere season. Definitely will be covering that as I am gonna be doing the CWO premiere recaps. So I'll be covering all of their action as well as all of the other clans that have been accepted into the league as well. Um, good luck to all of you guys um, in CWO premiere. Not, not just from Mon Lava, but everybody. And good luck to everybody in invite as well. Um, more so us, we're definitely gonna need it. We know the challenge that is ahead of us, but we are willing to take that challenge. Um, I mean, take this bull by the horns. We're just gonna go in nice and dry, nice and dirty, and perform to our absolute best and give it our all. And big shout out to everybody over at Wrath of War for joining the Forge by the Bay Alliance. Shout out to Pandas of War uh, for joining, uh, for sistering with uh, Clintonimo Bay, also part of the Forge by the Bay Alliance. Big shout out to everybody that's watching this video. We just um, hit 1,100 subscribers, guys. I'm still in the works of what I want to do as like a celebratory video uh, of hitting that 1K mark of subscribers. But thank you to everybody for watching the channel, for subbing, for commenting, whether it's positive or negative. Um, I love all your guys' comments and, you know, sharing these videos, um, you know, with your other clan mates, with your friends, uh, you know, sharing the videos all over the place, subbing. It's just amazing what has happened. Um, again, I, I really can't thank you guys enough for all of our, you know, our friends and family out there that's, you know, behind uh, this movement that we're trying to make with In Clash of Clans. And also a big shout out to uh, Rigoletto as well. Got to throw that in there. And again, thank you everybody for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, thank you everybody for all of your love and support. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next